So for the past three days, I've been debating with myself to figure out whether or not I wanted to cover this topic, this article here on the channel from wegotthiscovered.com. And the reason why I'm choosing to cover it is because I have been contacted by so many people about this. It's been like a constant thing over and over and over again asking me, is this true what they're saying here? So we got this covered, this website who looks remarkably like, I mean remarkably like Screen Rant and CBR and you know all the other websites that tend to make up stories and create articles desperately for clicks that are completely based in fiction. In fact, we got this covered.com reported three Harry Potter sequels that were in production. I think they said it was three and none of that was true. So we got this covered.com is saying that the Walt Disney Corporation is developing a live action Dragon Ball movie with an exclusive Asian cast and a big budget. And that they're going to be working on this movie and possibly rebooting Dragon Ball for a live action audience. No one else reported on this. Not IGN, who has very, very, very close ties to Toei and Funimation. IGN always gets the information early when it comes to certain releases and movies and things like that. They have, you know, they pretty much listen to whatever Toei gives them. They would have a report on this. There's nothing there, nothing from Anime News Network or anybody else who we talk to at any of the companies about this story. But yet, We Got Discovered is claiming this. I'm going to call shenanigans on this one. I'm calling this fake news. Now, a couple things I want to kind of explain to people because I want you to understand how this works because there's a lot of misinformation out there when it comes to Disney and Dragon Ball. So we're going to break it down right now real, real, real nice for you so you understand. And please spread this video out so that other people who have been misguided who don't understand can learn. Disney bought Fox. Fox is part of 20th Century Fox. They're the same company, right? 20th Century Fox has had distribution rights for Dragon Ball theatrical films for many, many years. Since Dragon Ball Evolution, in fact, was the first movie that they distributed out. But that's all they have is distribution rights. So when Disney purchased Fox... They retained, presumably, those distribution rights. Now, distribution rights, all that means is that their job is to get Dragon Ball movies in theaters, whether it be Battle of Gods, Resurrection F, Dragon Ball Super Broly. Their job is to distribute the film out to various movie theaters and to make sure they're playing the film whenever times are applicable. That's what a distribution company does. Disney cannot create, listen to what I'm telling you, Disney cannot create a Dragon Ball film without direct approval from Toei, Shueisha, and really Bird Studios, which is Akira Toriyama. They can't do it. After Dragon Ball Evolution came out, Toriyama retained creative control of Dragon Ball. This is based on an interview that he put out where he said, I mean, at first he said he didn't care about Dragon Ball Evolution. To paraphrase, he said, oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Then after it came out, he complained about it. That was many, many years later, he complained about Dragon Ball Evolution. And because of that, Toei and Shueisha do not want to proceed with Dragon Ball projects like this without consulting Toriyama. And because of that, Disney cannot just create a Dragon Ball movie. Obviously, the guy who wrote this article, uh, Evan Lewis, Evan Lewis, I have no idea who that is. He didn't know that. He had no idea. He has no idea. This is not a story. This is not a story right now. Until we hear otherwise from a credible source, a credible source from Japan who has to approve a Disney live action film. It's not real. And it's most likely, based on everything that we know, is probably not going to happen unless Disney writes them a very, very big check, which they could do at some point in the future, but not very likely considering that we have the Disney layout for future projects essentially all the way until 2023, and there's nothing there about Dragon Ball whatsoever. Absolutely nothing. Does that mean that they'll never make a Dragon Ball movie? Doesn't mean they'll never make one, but this news right here is nonsense. Disney cannot make anything without the approval of Shueisha and Toei, point blank. They can't. So get that out of your head. Oh, they bought Fox, they can make Dragon Ball, they own Dragon Ball now. No, 
Disney does not own Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is owned by Bird Studios, Shueisha, and Toei Animation. And really, it goes in that order. Bird Studios at the very top, followed by Shueisha, then Toei Animation. Everybody has to pretty much bow down to Shueisha. That's the boss. So, there's your story. There's your video on it. This right here, I'm calling shenanigans on this one. Not true. No word about it from anyone. And until we hear otherwise from a credible source, fake news. And that's the best word I can use for it. I know some folks don't like that word, but that's what this is. So, again, calm down. Disney's not doing a Dragon Ball film. Relax. I mean, I'm not going to say they're never going to do one because they might actually one day want to pay the money to do it. But there's no story here. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.